Okay, this is my 1965 Travelese tra uh, trailer. It's a huge mess because I'm in the middle of tearing everything apart and rebuilding. But I've put together a lot of the plumbing system, and I just wanted to show what I've got here. This is my tank. It's a 20-gallon tank. I've got it setting up on three-quarter inch uh, particle board because one corner lands on over here. There's a three-quarter inch piece that the wood for the wheel well is on. And then I ran my lines uh, up under it, so they're they're free to run under. This is my drain line. So I've got a big, big valve. Now I don't need a drain line this big, but the tank came with this fitting that fits this uh, this size. So I just ran with that, and I just put a big old valve right here. So I have to open up the the seat to get to the valve. Um, it might have been better to put that down underneath. I can still do that if I decide I want to, and then just leave that one open all the time. Uh, this is the water that would come in from my city hookup. Now all my fittings are inside because I'm redoing siding outside and then it will hook to something like this. Well this actually. Uh, this fitting here is actually a fitting that I put on to pressure test so it wouldn't have this normally. But this will just screw right onto there. This fitting here will spin. So you want to get that and it's got rubber in it. So you want to have that. You don't need to use PTFE tape or pipe dope um, because that rubber fitting will seal and it won't leak. And I've pressure tested it already and it will hold, um, it held 40 pounds for all the day. So, um, so this is my inlet. This is my vent pipe. It's important that you have a vent pipe. Otherwise, the pressure as you fill it, if you've got air in there, it's just going to pressurize your tank. So here is my fill that'll be outside. The uh, vent will go to this side, the fill will go to this side. So air can go out while water comes in. So those are at the top. It's important that those are at the top, drain obviously at the bottom. Here is the out line. Again I used um, these fittings that spin when they're clamped so that uh, I can replace this pump if I need to. Here's my pump, it's set down. This is a DC pump. Make sure that you don't hook this to AC. That's gotta be a, D, that's a DC system. Um, so here, this is the other important part. This is a check valve or a one-way valve. So water can pump through here and go out into my system. But when water comes in through my city water connection, it, it'll get stopped here. So it won't be pushing through my pump and into my tank. That's really important to have. Otherwise, when you're hooked to city water and it fills your tank, it's just going to keep filling and then leak all over the place. Um, so those are the four fittings that you've got. You need to make sure that you have inlet for the water, vent out for the air, out to go to your system, and a drain for winterization. Um, and then these lines run back and forth to the water heater and back and the sinks and everything, the shower and all that. So this is, this is what my system all looks like here. I could have put in a longer tank, but I don't really need one. That's 20 gallons for this size of a camper, that's fine. Um, and then you have to also consider that each gallon of water weighs about eight pounds, I think it is. So you don't want to overload your trailer just because you can fit more water you may not necessarily want to and you can do your drain different than the way I did mine um, just as long as it will drain out when you're when you're needing to winterize so uh, this system this site here here's the other thing that you need to know you got to have a check valve here and I bought one and can't find it so it will go in this line as soon as I find it but it's important that you have that check valve there as well. Otherwise, this pump here will just pump and it'll pump all your water out of your valve ho your ho hose hookup for your city hookup. So that's the basics of a uh, water system for a trailer. And I highly recommend PEX. It's just a lot easier to work with and a lot cheaper than um, like copper. And then I use these crimp rings, um, they work really well. I know some people have had them leak, 
I never have, and I do a lot of plumbing work. I don't just do it for these um, campers and stuff. So uh, the I think that crimp tool is probably about 60 bucks, definitely worth having. And the plastic fittings work just fine.